If you're like me, you've probably used Bootstrap in many Rails applications, many websites in general over the last few years. It's been about four years since Bootstrap was released and Bootstrap version 4.0 is about to be released in the next couple months. So Bootstrap 4.0 Alpha has been announced and it comes with all kinds of changes such as they've moved from less into SAS which means that the Rails community gets to benefit from that because now you don't have to have both SAS and less in your Rails app. Uh, they've improved the grid system, done a bunch of other things. They've also rewritten all the, the jQuery, like JavaScript plugins from scratch. There's all kinds of changes that have happened, which are great for us, but annoying because we have to upgrade our applications from Bootstrap 3 to 4, and I know how much of a pain it is to maintain those if you never upgrade. So it's good to take a look at all of this uh, right now and kind of work our way into it and just be familiar with what changes are gonna be required. So you've probably installed Bootstrap 2 or 3 in your Rails app at some point, and you may have used the bootstrap sas gem because this kind of converted that code into SAS. So it was a little more flexible in the asset pipeline and just kind of worked uh, smoother. Uh, there's a plenty of other ways to have installed this, but this is one of the most common ways of doing so. And as a recent dis discussion has been had about this, a recent discussion about this gem has been talked about and they decided to create a new gem called bootstrap Ruby gem which you can find on GitHub. And this is going to be where Bootstrap version four alpha and above live from now on for Rails users. So this is the, the gem that you're gonna be using from now on. And you can install it and take a look at it with Bootstrap 4.0 alpha by adding the gem and specifying from GitHub. They have similar instructions to setting this up as they did with the old one. Uh, but there's a few changes, namely one mentioning this tether requirement that might be important for your application if you're using tooltips or something like that. Tether is an awesome little library built by the HubSpot team, and it allows you to build things like uh, tooltips in a lot more flexible of a manner, which has been something Bootstrap has like definitely had annoying tooltips in the past depending on how your uh, CSS and HTML was laid out. So this is the gem that you're gonna be using going forward in Rails to run Bootstrap 4. And uh, it's really simple to set up and then you can take a look at version 4-alpha.getbootstrap.com and that is where the documentation will live for version 4 and so on. So, that's about it right now. There's not a whole lot of information out on Bootstrap 4. You'll have to dive into the source code a lot, I'm sure. The documentation is a little sparse on uh, their website right now, but they have some really fancy things, such as these new officially supported Bootstrap themes that you can buy for about 100 bucks, which is pretty great because they look pretty well done. So that's Bootstrap 4 and the changes you'll need to make to get started checking out Bootstrap 4 in Rails today. That's it for this episode. I will talk to you later. Peace.